jump out of here. Mr. Spock, we're being fired upon. The renowned Tholian punctuality. Mr. Spock, damage control report. Minor structural damage to sections A4 and C13. Engineering, hold power steady and cut off all unnecessary expenditures. Sulu, divert all but emergency maintenance power to the shields. But sir, that'll reduce our phaser power by 50%. Mr. Spock! Start the bridge. Spock here. I know you don't like to use the phasers, but you've got to do something about that ship out there. Understood. Lieutenant Uhura, open the channel to the Tholian ship. Aye, sir. Mr. Sulu, lock in phaser tracking controls. Phaser's locked in, sir. There's no response on any frequency, sir. What's the use of this battle, Spock? You've lost, Jim. Take the ship out of here. Ready, Mr. Sulu? Ready, Mr. Spock. Fire. Engineering, status report. Mr. Scott. Spock, that hit we took from the Tholians has fused our power supply converters. I can't do a thing with the Enterprise now. He's bound to drift. Maybe right through that doorway out there. Can you estimate minimum time required for repair? I don't even know if she can be repaired. Are you satisfied? Spock, why did you do it? The decision to fight was logical. Lack of time prevented any other course of action. The Tholian ship had to be disabled. You should have known what could have happened and done everything in your power to safeguard your crew. That is the mark of a starship captain like Jim. Doctor, I hardly believe this is the time for comparisons. Please go at once to your laboratory and search for an antidote to the effects of this space. That is your primary task since we must remain here. <laughs> 